My name is Zach and today I wanna to show you step-by-step -step how to design an email like this in Canva. So uh, we have a lot of new email, hey there beautiful, in the hero header and we can see we have a little bit of the body text, we have some nice transitions, we also have a little bit more body text, some images, some nice little fun product shots throughout this email and then at the end here we just have one, two, three different products, product blocks, as well as a little bit of a footer. So I'm gonna share with you exactly how we create this step by step. So let's dive in, let's go back to Canva and we'll actually start off over here creating a custom size. We wanna make it just 600 pixels wide and like super tall, just make it like 8,000. Let's do that and we're gonna start here and let's dive in exactly how we start this off. So uh, I'm start, starting with just creating a, a rectangle in the in the background so we're going to hit r on our keyboard here and we're going to go make sure that this is all the way up just right there and we're going to create this like such and then let's go and grab that that color make it a nice a nice teal color we'll go into here and that'll be that we'll make, create that right there now we can start putting some stuff on here. So we're just grabbing the logo, putting it actually beautifully placed at the at the top there. We'll add a little bit of text. So we're gonna say, in this case, hey there, beautiful, and it's gonna be an epilogue font. So we can actually make this all caps by hitting that right there. And we're gonna go to epilogue right there. And that's going to be a very, bright version of epilogue. So we're gonna be specifically using epilogue black. All right, let's do that. Let's bring this out, make it a lot bigger. All right, and let's spread it out like this. Keep going. Hey there, beautiful. Let's make it white. Okay, we're gonna go into here. Excellent. And let's, let's actually bring this line spacing in just a little bit so it's sitting nicely as such. So anytime that we're doing text, you're just gonna hit T in your keyboard and you're gonna add some text like this. So I'm not, I'm just gonna drag it over this time and you're, you're gonna understand, you better understand how to, how to create text from this point. So where did that text go? I'm not entirely sure where the heck that went. Let's copy and paste that over. There we go. Okay, feel your wellness journey with 15% off your first order use code XYZ. And this right here, we're gonna make sure that this is bold. So you can do that. You can also, if you wanted to, let's go ahead and underline this so that it's super easy to, to read. Next up, we're gonna create the button. So we're gonna take this right here, turn it into a button shape. Let's make this kind of a purplish color. So let me grab that exact color that we're, we're using. It's gonna be a nice little purple color that matches the aesthetics. And we want this to be a little bit more of a pill shape, but before we do that, let's take some text and let's put it in the middle there and let's say shop now with and save 15%. So we're gonna take that guy right there and that should be about good. We're gonna make this button bold so it's a little bit bigger, matching the, the brand's fonts. And then we can go into here and we can round the corners. Great, okay, we're moving along very, very well. We also have an image. Luckily, this image is really easy to use because it just has a nice solid background that really blends in well. So we're gonna move this guy up and we're gonna send him to the back just using control and the left and right brackets. So there we are. We are gonna add a little bit more pizzazz, one might say, by adding in some of these cans kind of off to, off to the right, just like that. And then these guys are just gonna be peeking out from the sides. And the way that we st stole these from the website is, or we took these from the website, they have these nice shadows, which I think would do really well within the emails. But you wanna make sure that these cans actually have a little bit more depth. And you wanna add just, again, you wanna add more depth to this image by adding these, these shadows if they're not already within your email. All right, there we are. This button is a little bit too fat. I don't like it too much. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna reduce the font size just a little bit. We're gonna say, we're gonna have a font size of about 214. The way we had it in the original is 14.2. We're gonna make sure these guys are centered and we're gonna actually group these together 
And let's just, I don't like it exactly like that. Let's move this just in a little tiny bit. Okay, you can play around with it. I like it like that. Sweet. Okay, next up, you're gonna, whoops, not put that in there. We're going to create a kind of a section. We're gonna actually, let's see here. I'll show you the, the section that we're, we're putting in here. So we're gonna need to create a shape like this. If you don't have this shape already, what you can do is you can actually create a frame. So you need to get a shape like this originally, and then you can go to what's called Frame Maker, which is a Canva app that allows you to convert any design to a frame. And so you're basically, you're gonna create, create a design like this. And you can see right here, this is like a line that's squiggly on the top and squiggly on the bottom. Then you're gonna create a frame like such and then you're gonna create, get a get a gradient texture just like that. So I can go more into depth. It would take a very long time for me to explain how to create a gradient, but uh, you need to create, create some sort of image and then you're gonna go into your, you're gonna take this, this frame right here and then you're gonna drag and drop that color onto that frame. And so you can just create these squiggles by taking uh, making a line and then making it look a little bit more like a macaroni noodle. I could go more into, into depth with exactly how to create this this type of shape. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but I want to respect your your time. So we're going to create a couple of these shapes actually, and we're going to have. Let's see here. Where did that one go? I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a look here. So we have this guy right here which is going to go right there. And then we're gonna bring this to the front, just like that. Make sure it lines up perfectly. And then actually we're gonna to have to have another one of these. So we're gonna line this guy up again. Awesome. And then this guy right there. Let's go back. And we're gonna take a, actually we're gonna take a, a rectangle. Again, same color, just like this. And we want that rectangle to stretch and that to be our next section. But let's take this guy and move him all the way to the back, all the way to the back, come on. Okay, and then we need to layer this, this one right here into there. So we're gonna put this guy at the front and then there we are. So we are playing around with the layers. Gonna do something just actually like that. There we are. Okay, so that was probably the most difficult section to create, but no worries, everything else is downhill from there. So let's let's go ahead and let's paste in some sparkles. We like those in the in the top. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually lock this layer. It's annoying because it's a frame and it thinks that you want to drop stuff into it. Did I hit lock? Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. Let's take this sparkle and we're gonna put it right there. And then we're just gonna simply add some text right into the middle. So welcome to the Alani New family. Let's nourish your body and soul together. All right, now we're gonna throw in some products that are peeking out from the sides all nice like, all nice like that. Oh, come on, there we are. Some more products just like that. Awesome. And then we have another image actually that's gonna go down here. I'm gonna show you why we're changing the color. So we're gonna take this image and it's gonna be put into there like that. And then let's go here and let's match this color. It works so much easier when you have, you don't have to blend the background when they just give you images like this. But if, you, if not, you'd have to create a gradient that like fades into this image. But because this company definitely knows what they're doing with marketing, we have a lot of great images with solid color backgrounds. So we're adding some more body text into there. We're gonna take this button, we're gonna move it down again. Shop now and save 15%. If you ever did need to center this, you would just go into here and you would hit align to page and center right there. We nailed it though. All right, we're moving well along. So this little transition is gonna be fun because we're gonna add in a little product like that. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of text. These products are seriously addictive. Okay, and we were, are gonna add in three different products. So we're gonna add in specifically three different colored rectangles. So we're gonna do one, two, three. Let's copy and paste those over. 
they're gonna look something like this. Awesome, and let's make sure that they bleed the full edge of the page. Don't even need to be that precise with it. We just need to make sure it goes over the edge because it's a frame. Awesome, all right. Now let's take some product images, put those into there. We're gonna make sure they're centered just like that. Boom. Boom and boom. There we are. And again, if you want to go into here and if you want to go and we want to, whoops, not that, sorry. Align elements, center them just like that. That works. And then we're just going to simply go in here and copy and paste the price and the name of the product. So energy drink 12 pack pre-workout. We're making sure that the text is actually readable on the background, by the way. You may go into... Oh man, we just deleted that. Okay, come on, here we are. Okay, one, two, and three. Easy as that. And now, no transition or anything too crazy on this final kind of footer image. We're just copying and pasting it. An image that we got off the website, and then we're taking this guy right here, and we're gonna actually cut it right there. Awesome, and then let's take another rectangle. Let's create our footer. What we like to do generally is just create it like this. We'll make it a nice tealish color. We'll send it to the back and then we're gonna go ahead, add their logo nicely into there. We're gonna add a little bit of text that one might see in the footer. And what we're doing here is we're not actually copying, taking this out of Figma and putting it into, we're not, like slicing this up as, as an image. This is gonna be within Klaviyo. It's gonna, gonna be within your, your ESP and this will be actual like live text. That way you have a nice mix of emails, images in your email. You have image, 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 image. We could also move this up just a little bit. Let's take a look here. It's a way too much white space. Okay, that way we can have all images and then we can have at the bottom here a nice blend as well of live text. So that'll be great for deliverability. We have no issues whatsoever getting 30 to 40% open rates, even with emails like this, so long as you're following all the necessary steps for deliverability, Do it, making sure you have great segmentation, adding a little bit of text like this into the footer that's live actual HTML text, and just making sure you're doing every, all those steps that get you straight into the primary inbox. So awesome. All right. Appreciate you uh, guys listening to this. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Otherwise, if you're running a brand and you want me to create you custom emails just like this or templates that you can go ahead and use for your internal team, if you want this to be your brand instead of Alani New, reach out to me and let's get you hooked up. You can go to zhs-ecom.com, book a call there or just reach out to me directly. Appreciate it.